how are things going being a rookie in the NBA? Yeah, I mean, it's everything kind of everyone told me about. You know, there's going to be you know, ups and downs, growing pains. That's how it's been so far. But, you know, blessed to be playing significant minutes my first year in the league. It's been fun, though, you know, just learning a lot. What's been the biggest adjustment from college game to pro? Uh, I'd say the amount of games. You know, I'd already be past my college season by now, and we're only halfway done. Uh, just taking care of your body, that's important. But, I mean, that's a given. You know, you got to do that. So you're, you know, you're professional now, so that's part of it. Has there been a, a matchup, you know, some guy you've guarded or has guarded you where you kind of had that moment where it's like, wow, like, I don't know if it's been LeBron or someone where you're, you realize, like, all right, I'm, I'm out here playing with these guys. I'm, I'm an NBA player now. Was there one that stuck out to you? Uh, I wouldn't say one in specific, you know, uh, specifics, but just kind of going through it every day and, and understanding that I'm in the NBA. That's kind of how it's sunk in, you know, maybe four or five games into it seeing that and just just being around these guys and, and uh, knowing the level that you know I've been blessed to be able to be a part of. Is there an arena maybe though or one that you grew up or a team or someone where it just kind of hit you? Or? Madison Square Garden was okay. definitely the first one that was pretty cool you know okay. historically everyone knows about that place but uh, you know yeah playing in there and just getting the feel and playing at this level has been, it's been awesome. What uh, you know you've obviously you know you're starting to play more now and you're starting and stuff but what are you trying to what, what do you need to kind of improve or what are you trying to take your game to the next level here to try to make more of an impact? Well I mean it's 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 a there's a fine line with doing that and and also you know finding your role in a team. Um, you know I'm never I never really think about individually, especially when uh, you know we've got such good players and, and, and great talent on guys that are continuing to learn. And uh, you know I just I'm added to that list, so I'm where I fit in and, and trying to just be a great defender and and uh, rebound and then just run, show the athleticism, you know, not really worried about individuals at this point. You think your offense, obviously there's more there. I mean, is you just still kind of adjusting? Are you trying to defer more to others? Or, do you, you know, how, how do you look at your aggressiveness in terms of shot attempts and things like that? Well, I mean, I don't worry about that stuff because, I mean, I don't know when they're going to come. Mm -hmm. Playing and playing in the, you know, in the league and establishing yourself, that stuff's going to come with it. You know, being a rookie and obviously being one of the later options on the team, you never know when your shot attempts are going to come. So mm -hmm. I can't focus on that. It's just being ready and competing as hard as I can. What's the biggest thing you've learned so far? I know you mentioned that the schedule being longer and stuff, but is there anything else you've, you've learned about this game or yourself or how to succeed here? I'd say just preparedness, always being ready. Uh, there's been parts in the season where, you know, I wasn't playing very much, but, you know, garbage minutes at the end. And then the next game, maybe I'm playing 20, 25. So you got to stay ready and always be locked in. Uh, you know, no pounding and no, no getting down. Just stay level-headed and continue to work. I mean, I know it's cliche, it's like a dream, but I mean, you're getting paid to play basketball. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it is that part of it kind of set in yet? I mean, is it is it feel like work? Or are you able to still enjoy this? No, I mean, it is work. It is work, and it's, it's high-level work. You know, you can't lose sight of that just because, you know, obviously we're getting paid, but, you know, there's, it's no less stress. It's no less effort than, you know, any other job in, in the world. You know, everyone puts their time into this. That's what makes it so prestigious. So, uh, for me, just continue to just chip away and continue to work and get better. Is this what you thought? I mean, I kind of talked about it at the beginning, but is this your dream? I mean, is this kind of what you thought it would be, just the experience of being an NBA player? Um, I'd say I still got a lot of ways to go for it to be everything I thought it would be, mm -hmm. you know, continue to work and, and establish myself uh, at this level. But um, as for just playing minutes in this game, you know, in this league and being a significant part of the team, that's something that I always dreamed about being and you know, it's, it's come true. You're obviously, you know, you're a winner, you want to win. How tough has it been that the team struggling? Um, yeah, it's, it's been tough. It's been tough, you know, but um, just l focusing on a young team that's trying to get better whenever we can. And uh, once you once you buy into understanding that we just got to continue to get better every day, then you know you don't really worry about wins and losses. Understand that it's going to be a process for a couple of years here, but we're going to figure it out and we're going to go from there. How has it been, kind of you know, being kind of carrying the flag for Boise State, you know, and for college and trying to trying to get that name out there more and be you know representing the school kind of too. You know, in your bio it says Boise State. I mean, how have you tried to? What's it been like, I guess, from that standpoint, trying to help make a name for that program, too? Yeah, I mean, if I take care of my business, then they're going to get the respect and the appreciation that, you know, they deserve and from where I come from. So focused on just taking care of my business and understanding all that stuff's going to come with it throughout the process. So focused on uh, here and now and then uh, just trying to go out and, you know, make a name for I know myself. that the team's in town. I think some of the guys are going to try to come tonight. I mean, I know, I know you're busy, but just to know that your former teammates are still looking up to you and, and trying to, you know, follow in your footsteps and things like that. I mean, do you still try to talk to some of those guys? and what's to like kind of following them from afar and seeing how they're doing and stuff yeah i mean those are my those are my guys you know they weren't just teammates they were some of my best friends still are so seeing them is going to be cool i think yeah a couple of them are going to come out so catch up with them a little bit and seeing how they're doing it's been great you know it's it's still it's still friendship no matter what level 
what league we play in, you know, we're still brothers, so it's been good.